Hello and welcome back to part 4 of my Starbound Modding 101 video tutorials. Today we are going to be going through creating a simple mod. So this is actually going to be part 1 of a 2 video series. Um, so what we're going to do first, we are going to create a mod where it creates a super powered pick. So we're going to just right click right here on the desktop, go to new and create a new folder. And we're going to call this super pick. Okay, so we've opened up our folder. And the first thing we need to do is we need to create a mod info file. So I've actually previously created a mod that we're going to use as reference um, for our mod info file. And so this is what it needs to look like here. So we're going to go back into our new mod folder, our super pick folder, and we're going to right click and go to new and create a new text document. So by default, it's going to make it end with .txt but we're going to change that. So we are going to type in our mod name. It's super pick. And it's going to be dot mod info. Okay. And it's going to give me a warning about changing the extension, but you can just ignore that. Um, so you go ahead and open that up. And uh, we're going to use this one as reference. So it looks like we need to start with a curly brace. Okay. And then um, we need to have a name for this uh, for this mod. So we're going to do oops, name. Okay, and the name of our mod is Super Pick. All right, and we put a comma because we're going to have more than one value in here. Okay, so our name is Super Pick. We need our version. Okay, I don't really know if you need to have the version, but, well, it's a good thing to have in there. Data version upbeat draft. Okay, we need another comma because we're going to put another name value pair in here. And metadata. So we've got these curly braces inside metadata, which means that these are all grouped in under the name metadata. We're going to do the same. Metadata, colon, and a curly brace. And within metadata, we have display name. This is what our mod is going to display as on the home screen when you load up mods. It shows the, the mod names on the corner of your, your main home screen when you start up Starbound. So, display name, okay, and the colon. And our display name is going to be Super Pick Mod. Okay. And author. I mean, you know, I'm just going to copy the rest of this stuff in. You get the idea. Okay. Oops. All right. And the only thing that I really need to change here is the description. Okay. As a super powered pick. All right. Sweet. So we can just go ahead and save this. This should be done. All right. And that's our mod info file. Okay. So now we're back in our mod folder here and we've got our mod info file. So now what we're going to do is we need to actually add in the assets that we'll need for our new pickaxe. So we're going to go into the Starbound assets and we're basically going to be creating a clone of the copper pickaxe, but we're going to have to change a few things around with it here. So we're going to go into, I've already unpacked my assets so we can see them all in here. And we are going to go into items. And inside items there's a folder called tools and the folder called mining tools. Okay, and so we are looking for the copper pickaxe. So these are all the uh, the files that relate to the copper pickaxe here. They all start with copper pickaxe. Um, and let me just look through, yeah. So those are all the things that we need for our copper pickaxe. So I'm just going to actually shift click and select all of these. Go ahead and copy these. Okay, so what we need to remember um, is we also need a, a similar file structure for this new pickaxe to go, so it knows where to put it in the proper folder here. So we're going to create the, the same file structure. We're going to create an, 
um, an items folder. So in our mod here, we're going to right click and go to new. I need a folder. I need an items. Okay. And inside items, we went to the tools folder. So we're going to go new folder tools. And inside that tools folder, let's see. So we went to items, we went to tools, and we need to go to this folder mining tools. Okay. So we can get new folder mining tools. Okay, so that's where we're going to put our our files for our new pick. So we're just going to go ahead and paste these files in here. So we're going to go ahead and change them one at a time. So this copy pickaxe dot mining tool. This is the one that holds all the all the data um, for the uh, for the copper pickaxe here. So we're going to change this one first. We're actually going to rename it. We're going to call it super pickaxe. Okay. So it's our super pickaxe dot mining tool. I'm going to go in here and we're actually going to change what we want to change about this super pickaxe. So the item name we're going to need to change to be super pickaxe. And the inventory icon, um, we're going to make that super pickaxe icon dot ping. And then our uh, drop collisions are going to be the same. Max stack is going to be one. Rarity, uh, let's just leave it as common. Okay, so tool tip kind is going to be tool. Um, let's change the description here. This is a super powerful, oops, powerful pickaxe. Okay. The description doesn't really make a huge difference. It's just what pops up when I believe you mouse over it or you see it in the inventory or in the crafting menu. So the short description, super pickaxe, large image. We'll change this to super pickaxe big dot ping. We're going to rename all of those image files to match these file names here that we're creating. Now, honestly, we could just reference the same images as the copper pickaxe. Uh, we don't have to create new image files, but I'm just going to go through and, and show you if you were to create new images um, for your for your pickaxe, this is the way you would do it. You would change these file names to the new image names, and then you would include those images in your folder here. So we're going to change this image name as well to super pickaxe.ping. Hand position is going to stay the same. Fire time. Not sure exactly what that is. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to focus on the values that we that we want to change. So block radius. This is, I believe, what's going to give it a bigger a bigger radius here. So let's change the block radius to six. And let's see, two-handed. Let's change this to false, so it's a one-handed weapon uh, or a one-handed pickaxe. So that way we can you know dual wield some super pickaxes. And uh, strike sounds, we want to stay the same. Break sound, we want to stay the same. Um, let's see. Let's do durability. Let's up that to 300. All right. All right. And durability per use. Tile damage. Let's up the tile damage to, let's say, five. Well, Let's say two oh, and see how that does. Let's say, no, let's say five. See, see if I'm allowed to do five. That's a good increase. Harvest level 99, tile damage blunted. Okay, I'm not sure what that means, but let's go with this. Let's save. Okay. So now we've changed the uh, the values that we want to change with that. So we're going to go ahead and close this up. So now in our mod here, whoops, that wasn't mod. Okay. So inside SuperPick we have our file structure, and in here 
we have the files for our, our new mods. So we've already edited the super pickaxe um, dot mining tool. So what we need to do is with each of these uh, these image files, these dot pings, we need to change them to the file names that we specified. So I'm going to change this to super pickaxe dot ping on all of these. And if you were creating more of a a detailed mod, um, you would you may want to create new image files um, for your super pickaxe, make it all rainbow colored or something. And uh, but in our case, we're not going to spend the time right now to create new image files. But if you were to create new image files, you would just put the image files in here and and make sure that the name of the image file matches the names that it references in this dot mining tool file. Super pickaxe. Ping. Okay, so this should be it for the uh, for the actual files that we're that we're including for the super pickaxe. So now what we're going to do um, is we need to do um, two things. I mean we're actually going to go through this in the next video, but I'll describe them here. So we have our our mod info file. We have all our item files, but we need to create a couple. Uh, uh, more files. We need to create a recipe file um, because what a recipe is is it gives you a, a crafting recipe for that item so that you can actually craft it in the game. And then we also need to create a patch file for the player.config because right now we have no way of of knowing how to craft this pick. We because what we need to do is let's go to our back to our starbound assets. And we're going to, uh, in here there is a file called player.config, and if we look at it, it tells you when you get the, the blueprints for all of these items. There are some items that, that you learn to craft when you pick things up, but the default starter crafting recipes, and the crafting recipes you get at each tier, you get um, when the, it's defined in this file when you get them. So like for instance how we know the campfire to craft a campfire when we first start the game is because the it's included right here the the campfire blueprint is included in our tier 1 default blueprints. So what we need to do is if we want to be able to craft this pickaxe we're going to need to add the the blueprint in here. So we are actually going to go over that in the next video and uh, I'll see you soon.